I was with a bunch of kindergarten kids recently, and the teacher, the wonderful teacher, kept telling them individually how amazing they are. And they just, they beamed as she said this, said to a little boy, you're, you're amazing. And he stood up straight and he knew it. And the same with the little girl and, and, and all the kids. They were all amazing. They felt amazing. Well, when did people stop saying this to you? As you grew up, isn't that always the way people stop praising? They stop telling you you're amazing. And then for a while you try to remind yourself. And then as we go into adulthood, we tend to forget how amazing we are. Well, today on this broadcast, I am telling you, you are amazing. And for you to hear that with your words, usually as an adult, when we hear such a thing, we say, no, 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 not me. I'm just ordinary or worse, less than ordinary. In Psalms 139, 14, it says, I praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. One of the words that I don't like in the Bible that it often translates as is fearfully. Uh, that's not meaning that it's, it's holy to be filled with fear. If you read the Bible, that is absolutely the opposite of faith. It is a point of high respect. That's the correct translation. So we have high respect for God, but also we have high respect for God's creation. Now you may, as an adult, feel embarrassed thinking of yourself as an amazing person. However, you feel inspired when you realize the reason you are amazing is not because of anything that you have done. It is because of what God has done in creating you. In fact, the whole world is filled with amazing people. We may look different and sound different, but we have something absolutely amazing in common. The spirit of the God that loves us all is the very life of our being. And therefore, everyone that you meet is your brother and your sister. Knowing this, you can never take yourself or another person for granted. You can never limit what you or another person can achieve when you understand the life and the wisdom of God are truly living out in wonderful and amazing ways through us. Realize also that God is not done with you yet. That's another amazing fact. No matter what disappointments or failures or mistakes that you've made, God is not done with God's amazing person yet. And I'll say this, that allowing God to come through you, your most amazing things are ahead of you.